Starting now with the Xperia 1 Mark IV. It's 30 degrees again outside, so I thought it might be a good idea to do another overheating test with the 1 Mark IV. This time around, I have taken out the case because you can see the case has some padding here that might block a little bit of yeah, heat coming out. So I thought hmm, maybe this will help. And another thing that I do now is testing it with Mac Pro 24 FPS, a third party camera recording application that can record also 4K 30, what I set up here. And it also has optical and digital stabilization enabled. But I think, I fear that just like on every other camera application I tested on Sony's, that usually the Sony, uh, the Sony built-in applications have the better stabilization. I don't have any mic plugged in, so I'm using the internal mics here. I hope the sound quality is uh, good. It's quiet here in this uh, park-like area uh, near the Rhine, the river, so it shouldn't be an issue. And uh, yeah, what do you think about this one here? Is the stabilization okay? And uh, I want to figure out if Mac Pro 24 FPS has some issues with overheating or not. So what I also did is, uh, to, according to all the su suggestions and what I also noticed is, if you're connected to 5G network, the device heats up so quickly, so much. It's the same with the Xperia Pro i. As soon as you hit, as soon as you uh, are connected to 5G, it is overheating or not heating, overheating it's heating up simply and uh, what i did now because i have 5g in this area here i turned off 5g i turned off bluetooth and i turned off gps and the temperatures i saw the temperature literally going down i turned on off the screen brightness but i think mac pro 24 fps has like kind of auto brightness kind of setting it has so much settings that probably you can turn it off as well but i left it on right now I experienced overheating already with the One Mark IV. I was recording the camera comparison between the Xperia Pro I against the Xiaomi 12s Ultra, and it was recording for roughly one minute, and then another one minute take, and then I saw already the overheating symbol. And so I let it cool down after the comparison was done and recorded the ending, and uh, yeah, it did not show any overheating signs. Right now, it is still going strong, recording. I have the feeling as well that uh, it might be that this camera application will not shut off so quickly, not because the device is not overheating, just because it doesn't have the same kind of algorithm built in that turns the device off when it is, or turns the video recording off when it's overheating, because the Sony app probably turns it off when it reaches a certain level of overheating, where Mac Pro 24 FPS, I think, will go, go, go until the system kicks it out and kills it. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty interested to see how far I can record with this and if I can record uh, a bit longer than the eight minutes I think I was, or nine minutes I was recording earlier. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty interested if this uh, setup uh, Turning off 5G helps enormously already. It's now connected to 2G only, so it's not airplane mode that I have here enabled. You can also try airplane mode if you want to, but if you want to have a call, do you want to get a call on such long video? I'm not sure. Then, yeah, you can turn also airplane mode on, which will turn off GPS and Bluetooth and all the other things. But I tried this already and it was not working so well, so I'm not so sure about this right now, if this will help at all. Uh, in terms of recording longer videos with the One Mark IV. Uh, but uh, maybe a few, few seconds added here and there, maybe up to a minute, and then taking the case off also maybe another minute. So we can reach maybe 11 minutes, 12 minutes recording time eventually, but it's 30 degrees outside and uh, the sun is hitting sometimes the screen here and the screen brightness is, like I said, going up very much. Um, I'm not so optimistic when it comes to yeah, recording longer sessions with this one here. But we have to see how this will work out. And uh, I would like to know what do you think about stabilization colors and uh, so on. Because yeah, Mac Pro 24 FPS, the only thing that I set up here was uh, turning on digital and optical stabilization. And uh, turning on the option to record and stop recording with the um, with the camera key, the shutter button. Otherwise I did not change any setting on this one here. And uh, yeah, we'll see how good it is. What I noticed is on Mac Pro 24 FPS and also on Filmic Pro, if you choose the 24 millimeter one, what you actually get is a seamless zoom from 16 to 125 millimeter, which is pretty damn cool, I would say, because you can use it in third party applications. I could imagine using it on maybe, what is it, Instagram or 
uh, TikTok eventually. I have to check if, if they have such option. If they, then if I zoom in, also using the seamless zoom, which would be pretty awesome, I would say. Um, at least I have this option here on Mac Pro 24 FPS, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I had to then switch to the one time. I saw it switching lenses even. Even it's very consistent, I still can see it's switching lenses. So I saw it switching lenses at one time, and so I know it's 24 uh, millimeters right now that it is recording with. And yeah, sun is setting right now, or where is it setting? Not really. Uh, it's going down a little bit not setting yet I can show it to you HDR shouldn't be the best I see the screen dimming already so that means like there is some heat going on but I don't see the heat warning and we have like uh, five minutes and 40 something seconds recorded already um, on the viewfinder the stabilization looks pretty awesome I would say uh, if I look at this right now here and uh, yeah I hope uh, focusing I set up to automatic I hope the big A there in Macro 24 FPS I'm not used to recording um, so long. The cool thing about Mac Pro 24 FPS is it shows me also skipped frames. So I see like in the six minutes that I'm recording here, 48 skipped frames. So there are a few skipped frames, probably due to the stabilization or some other things that yeah, keep skipping the frames here. So do we beat the nine minutes mark that I had at 24 um, degrees Celsius inside, indoors? Is a bit windy sometimes case off bluetooth off location services off just 2g on uh, wi-fi is on but it's not connected to any wi-fi because there's no wi-fi around here but probably it's scanning wi-fi is a few minutes every few minutes or something like this to see what it can find so yeah we will see if this will overheat and this is by the way running on what is it the latest firmware for europe <laughs> i forgot which version it is a 64 point 0 0.8 point and then a number behind it um, I will probably blend it in or will tell you in the description you can check which version it is but it's the newest version that I have to date which is like the uh, actually the 11th of uh, 11th of uh, um, August not April August, the, the other months that start with A. So August, uh, pretty interesting, I would say. Uh, like I said, I was testing out the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, I'm pretty impressed by the main sensor there, one inch, and uh, testing it against the Xperia Pro I to see which one is the better one utilizing the one inch size sensor. We know Xperia Pro I has a bit of crop factor involved, or at least it's not using the whole sensor area. So yeah, very interesting to see which one is uh, comes in front. I think HDR is a bit better on the, Xperia, on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra and the Xperia always struggles in HDR if you are recording in SDR mode. But even with HDR mode, first of all, it's overheating. Even the Xperia Pro I is overheating in HDR mode, uh, especially in these conditions here, weather conditions. And the other thing is just it's um, not keeping up and I like the 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 HDR mode of Xiaomi and uh, Honor and Huawei devices because it's pretty cool on the one hand on the other hand it's also unnatural I know it's unnatural sometimes can produce wonderful shots on the other hand sometimes you want more authentic shots and I think the Xperia Pro I is uh, giving me those authentic shots those shots that I would also get from the Narcs 100 Mark 7 or a uh, Sony ZV-1 that has um, yeah it feels like a camera, uh, not so much as a phone, like uh, Honor, Huawei and uh, all the other ones that I'm testing. So uh, I think I blubbled enough now. Let's check out time. So we are now reaching nine minutes, approaching nine minutes, and I think it's doing fine. 30 degrees outside. And uh, yeah, it's a bit on the shadow right now. I'm running around. If I would run around in the sun, probably it will overheat much, much quicker. But uh, yeah, Mac Pro 24 FPS, nice application. I also did a video about it. You can check this out as well. And uh, yeah, otherwise uh, recording fine. Uh, probably I try to beat the, uh, what do I have here? The Honor Magic 4 Ultimate that was my king in overheating. Got super, super hot, this ceramic, uh, ceramic bag, but did record, I think, for more than 12 minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to beat this 12 minutes mark now. Of course, with the one mark four, I already did once, uh, like the thirty minute mark or something like this. I hit over thirty minutes and just stopped recording. It was indoors, twenty four uh, degrees as well, and was even the previous firmware. So it's it's hard to tell what is causing this overheating. I think it could be not only the chipset, but maybe it's a combination of chipset, Bluetooth, three G connection, 
and display brightness and the temperature it had before we started recording all this might play come into play here as well let's check out still recording fine to over 10 minutes now uh, 84 skipped frames that i can see here audio is the internal microphone so if you're wondering oh this audio sounds good or better than before even yeah that's it sounds a bit more open because it has two microphones that it uses for recording here right now and of course it is more open because it's like an omnidirectional uh, kind of way not like a directional it is more open because it's like an omnidirectional uh, kind of way not like a directional uh, uh, lavalier microphone otherwise lavaliers are also a bit omnidirectional but they're sitting directly at the sound source so are a bit more direct i would say yeah running around here try to run around in the shadows a little bit which is it's still 30 degrees so maybe 28 29 but in the shadows but in the sun it's much hotter so my la last information is it's 30 degrees here i can check maybe one of my phones to check how accurate this is in terms of degrees 31 degrees is what my uh Huawei phone is showing me here right now, so I'm trusting it. So we have roughly 30 degrees at least here in the shadow. And uh, let's maybe go to the sun a little bit, try to avoid loud noises. You know, cars passing by here, which is nice. Nice area here, uh, close to the river. And uh, yeah, the Xperia 1 Mark IV with the latest update is doing a great job, I would say. And overall uh, usage, the only problem where i noticed it's overheating is 5g definitely not overheating but getting very very warm let's say it like this it didn't show any overheating sign the overheating sign or symbol it only showed when you're recording video and then only with yeah the video apps that you you're used to the video pro the photo pro and cinema pro cinema pro less than all the other ones but still so i think i hope sony is uh, upgrading those uh, devices a little bit and working on it uh, to yeah get uh, the apps on par i hope this improvements in terms of heat and cpu usage will also include the older applications i heard a loud noise is it still recording oh, it's recording still over 12 minutes now pretty nice uh yeah, I heard a loud right noise. Maybe it was my Xperia Pro I that gave me like a warning. Or this one is giving me the warning that it's overheating right now at 12 minutes. Would be also interesting to know. Um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, this device is working fine so far. And uh, where was I? What was I talking about? I, don't, I forgot already. Um, anyway, what do you think about uh, this one here? And did you try out the Xperia 1 Mark IV in an extreme condition or something like this? Yeah, I was talking about the overheating issue. Usually you don't have overheating issues if you don't record like for a prolonger time. And 5G is uh, raising up the temperatures very high on this device. So if you want to record video and you have 5G, turn it off, then you have smoother video recording for sure. Um, otherwise, yeah, the device is running nicely. And I don't have much of an overheating issue in everyday usage only issue comes when you try to play with the video apps. And I hope they will update those video apps, especially when it comes to the older devices as well. Like this Pure Pro I also has some overheating issues, especially if you're recording HDR or something like this. I'm not sure if they gain, but if they optimize some algorithms in the Video Pro app and uh, the Photo Pro app, they should also bring this uh, down to the older devices so that we can enjoy uh, those improvements on the older devices as well otherwise yeah i hope they will update it soon i know or heard that in, in asia the update is already out there uh, that improves stuff as well i'm not so sure if that's true i think uh, tech odyssey another uh, fellow youtuber has an asian device and i think he was like even last week still rambling about or talking about and complaining about the overheating issue on the xperia and that they only added like the, the the warning at the beginning actually the warning at the beginning that you can burn your hands i think i saw it first on the xperia 1 mark 2 and they kept it uh yeah there maybe they changed the text a little bit it's uh it was on sony devices all the time even though all the xperia x a device i tried out had the same warning so it's a sony thing <laughs> in this case maybe some 
crude regulations in the United States, you also have to write down on, on uh, coffee cups, you have to write, uh, oh, be careful, it's hot coffee inside, which is like, uh, yeah, we don't have this over here in Europe because yeah, if you spill your coffee and it's hot, if you buy your coffee, you know it's hot. You don't have to have like a text written there. Oh, be careful, it's hot. So <laughs> uh, a little rant on my American friends there. And uh, things are falling down here from the tree. Interesting. So we have to be careful. Probably maybe some birds playing around there. Can I show it to you? So we have 50 minutes already recording. This is I think, the longest that it went. You can see at least there a stain of something that fell down. So yeah, maybe the birds are also throwing it down. You know, birds are intelligent nowadays. They are throwing down like nuts or something like this to crack them and to eat the inside. So yeah, I could imagine this happening here as well. So not sure. I won't go there because I don't want to hit by, by some kind of things there. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, still going strong. I'm happy so, so far, so uh, one solution might be using Mac Pro 24 FPS or a Filmic Pro or any other application for video recording. Uh, get rid of your case and turn off Bluetooth and uh, turn off 5G for sure. And um, yeah, what else? Uh, turn off GPS location data as well. Everything that might produce a little bit of power or use a bit of power of your CPU and creating um, yeah, high temperatures, overheating uh, kind of temperatures. Still going strong, we have now 16 minutes and uh, I have to say yes, the screen dims and it gets very very hot at the back, but it's still we are recording fine. It reminds me a little bit of the first recordings that I did even on the older firmware, where I could record at one point like over 30 minutes, so probably, probably I can do this with this here as well. Uh, and when are you recording over 30 minutes? And I'm pretty sure that the the really hot cake here, hot hot plate of the uh, on a Magic 4 Ultimate uh, over 12 minutes after like 15, what is it, 17 minutes, it probably would also overheat very very quickly and would turn itself off. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm also pretty sure if I stop recording right now, I want to record again, that we might see some overheating issues and we might see some throttling again. This is again the software of Sony that is a bit of inconsistent and I hope that they will update this with firmware updates so that we can see a little bit of improvements there as well. Hope Sony is still addressing those issues before the device officially comes to the market in the United States so that at least the friends over there in the States will get a device that doesn't have those issues, that is one of the best devices this year, because I have to say I tested lots and lots of devices and flagship devices, and uh, interestingly enough, Snapdragon HN1 devices, all of them overheated. Um, I had solid reports about the Vivo X80 uh, Pro also overheating by people that are telling me, yeah, if you want to sell the One Mark IV and get the Vivo X80 Pro, uh, be aware that it also overheats and uh, yeah still going 18 minutes yeah what should i say it's like it's working um then there was another article i was reading about uh, more and more iphone users going caseless so don't have a case anymore and uh, yeah i pretty much have a case on every of my phone especially the one with the glass back because if you just drop it and it just breaks, especially the ones with the big glass as well for uh, cameras, camera bumps. And I had this with the Mate 40 Pro already that I used it without a case for a week. And then for some reason I got a crack inside of the glass and then I put a case on. So going caseless, is this a trend right now? Are you using your case? Probably much. If, if you pay so much for the phone, you want to use, of course, a case to protect it, to keep it as long as possible. But I... I, I can understand the appeal of going caseless because it feels a little bit more slimmer, feels a bit more premium if you touch glass instead of just a plastic case or something like this. On the other hand, on my plastic phones, like the 10 Mark IV that I had, I wasn't just using any case with this because I don't think it's necessary for this one. And for some other devices, like I think the, the, the uh, Xiaomi 12S Pro, 12S Ultra actually, uh, when I would use this one, if the camera bump wouldn't be so big and so large and I know it will break if I don't use a case, then I would also use, uh, use don't use a case. Same goes, I think, for the Zenfone 9. 
that also has a nice grippy back that I also wouldn't use a case on this one because it's a bit of plastic here. I think both are using some kind of plastic there. And uh, yeah, a 1 Mark 4 still going strong. Yep. We have now 20 minutes reached officially and it's still recording with Mac Pro 24 FPS. So it is pretty hot, definitely. So I'm not touching it with my full hand. Otherwise I, could, I will get burned. But yeah, it's pretty interesting that it is still recording fine and probably I can reach like 30 minutes here right now. So probably they fixed a lot with its recording limits and times here, but the apps need to be updated, I think, on the Sony side. Otherwise, Sony do something, uh, hopefully, and test it in your lab a little bit more thorough and also in the conditions, I think, in, in, even in Japan where the um, engineers are sitting, there is also uh, 30 degrees and upwards and very dry and uh, actually not dry actually very wet there humid uh, air so uh, air so conditions where I think the Xperia can be tested as well outside for recording longer sessions to see how good this is anyway this is probably one of the longest Xperia 1 Mark 4 videos I did one 30 minutes that is in the playlist of Sony Xperia if you want to see this but I don't think I'm talking there and I get another warning. It's still recording, 21 minutes. Okay, screen is pretty dim, so I have to like really, really look at it to see if it's still recording or not. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's probably overheating right now, but it's still going strong. 21 minutes, 22 minutes. I just think I will just abort it right now. Uh, to tell you, yes, Mac Pro 24 FPS, so third-party camera application. Maybe also Filmic Pro will work better than the Sony applications in terms of overheating issues. And also when you turn off 5G and turn off Bluetooth and turn off GPS, then you also get longer recording times as I showed you right now, demonstrated to you right now. So another Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV overheating test. Ah oh, man, if I would have, I never would have guessed that when I got the 1 Mark IV that I will do overheating tests so much. But yeah, this, this, uh, this is the way how it is like now. So uh, yeah, what do you think about this one here? Do you have any other tips to get the heat down on the One Mark IV besides like getting a case with a fan, active cooling fan or cooling pad or something like this? Then write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this uh, overheating test. The fifth overheating test or sixth overheating test on the One Mark IV. Now I think it's success because I'm just stopping this video because not it's overheating just because I'm bored and uh, have recorded over 22 minutes. So. It's pretty fine, it's working, and I think this might be the solution for the overheating issue on the One Mark IV. Is it a fine solution? No, it is an emergency solution for those people who want to record longer. You have to record some longer takes, and um, yeah, probably, hopefully, this will work fine for you as well. Otherwise, yeah, write me your solution in the comment section. And if you're in Asia, you got the newest, newest, newest firmware version, uh, tell me if this is fixed finally for you or still not fixed. That's everything for this video. Until the next time, bye.